Greetings from the Outreach Foundation. My name is Ralph Wheeler, and after nearly 40 years of working with donors of all different gift sizes, there's two things that I've learned over and over again. Number one is that it truly is greater to give than to receive. And the second is that smart giving is something that is, is learned over a long period of time, yet rarely passed on to the next generation. Like the parable of the talents, uh, there are smart giving strategies that can benefit your family, your church, and the charities of your, your choice. Uh, if you'd ever like to talk with one of the professionals at the Presbyterian Foundation or the National Christian Foundation, please let me know if I can help facilitate that, uh, that meeting. So today, let's look at five smart giving strategies that can work for you in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, and, and beyond. Now in your 40s, uh, you certainly want to begin thinking more seriously about kingdom giving and you want to uh, continue to focus on long-term plans. So number one, clarify your values and be sure and share those values and priorities with your family so that those are passed on to the next generation. If you haven't done so already, commit to percentage giving for the kingdom. If you haven't done so already, it's time to create a will and name your power of attorney. In your 40s, you're gonna to want to really begin seriously planning for retirement and your children's education, uh, if that is applicable. And you wanna consult with your financial planner to make sure these things are in agreement with your financial planner. Now in your 50s, this is the time to make sure that your plans that you made in your 40s are on track. So again, review your values and priorities and share those with your, your family. Your 50s is a great time for you to increase your percentage giving to the kingdom. You wanna update your will and your power of attorney, especially if there are any changes to your family status, your health, or your giving priorities. You wanna fund your retirement, and this in your 50s is a great time to make uh, catch-up contributions if, if you can. In fifth, you want to meet with your financial advisor regarding any new spending, saving, and giving plans that have changed since your 40s. Now in your 60s, where Mary and I are, uh, this is the perfect time to review your values and your priorities and to share those with your adult uh, children. Next, in your peak earning years, you want to be sure and give a, a greater percentage to the kingdom. You'll want to revisit your retirement plan and go over that with your financial planner. You'll want to pay off any debts and make sure you rid yourself of any monthly payments by the time you retire. And lastly, in your 60s, you're gonna to wanna to update your will and your power of attorney to reflect any plan changes you might have in transfer of title for, for property or business interest. Now, I believe any time is a, is a good time to give, but in your 70s, this can be a particularly good time uh, to give. If you discover that you don't need all your retirement uh, funds to live on, uh, perhaps a direct contribution to the charity of your choice can lower your taxes as well as increase the gift size uh, to the charity of your choice. In your 70s, you're going to want to continue to live according to your values, but make sure that you do not outlive your assets. Number three, uh, you'll, if before you retire from full-time employment, uh, you're going to want to consider how will you use your time. So work with the charities of your choice uh, to see how you can volunteer your time with them. Number four, consider a legacy gift and share those plans with your family and the charity of your choice. And lastly, it's time to give thanks to God that you've reached another age milestone and that you acknowledge him for all the good things that he's provided you so that you can make these kinds of kingdom gifts. If there's anything that I can do to help facilitate a, a meeting uh, with an expert at the Presbyterian Foundation or the National Christian Foundation, uh, please contact me.